region, you know, has the potential to be a top tier hub in the country and has top tier ideas and talents and traction um, to reach that goal that we're, we're all striving towards. When you think about you know, what does it mean to get to sort of one of the top entrepreneurial communities in the U.S or in the world even, um, the ingredients that people will describe, no matter where they are, are the ingredients that we have right here in the Triangle. Right now we have three top 25 hubs in Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill, and the connectivity between those are necessary for us to really grow together to have that kind of presence within the, the country. I think it's gonna require us seeing a few more exits to really put ourselves on the map. I think it takes time, I think it takes more exits to occur throughout the region. It takes more capital. I heard a lot of discussion today about the need for more inclusive entrepreneurship here uh, for people of color, women, others to give them a chance to start and scale companies. We could really create something unique and special if Raleigh decided to really focus um, on women, either women in technology or companies who really focused on delivering technology to women themselves. I think the last piece that you need is the network. And by that I mean all those pieces need to start to communicate and work together and network with each other so that you get what we call a network effect where the sum of the parts is greater than the whole. We have dedicated ourselves to making some additional investments in data collection, in investor relations, and in public relations to tell the stories of these companies outside of the world. And in that way, we think North Carolina is going to emerge as the top entrepreneurial community that everybody wants to be a part of. I wouldn't try to build a company anywhere else in the United States at all. This is hands down the best place to build one.